This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create and control something very thin like a bow string? So here I just have a quick bow that was modeled inside of ZBrush here. And I want to add a bow string to this bow here. How would I go by doing that inside of ZBrush? So the process I would use would be to use a IMM curve brush and apply the string on my model. So first I'm going to navigate over here to the brush icon over here. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to locate the IMM curve brush right here. I'm just going to click on that. Now with this brush loaded, this is an IMM or a insert multi-mesh brush. So this means that this brush contains multiple meshes inside of it. So if I press M on my keyboard, it's going to open up this window here. And these are all the insert mesh curve brushes that live inside this IMM brush. So I want to locate the strap insert mesh here and just click on that. And now I'm going to come back to my model. And I just want to create a bowstring like so. Now the bowstring on this, I may want to have a little bit bigger. So something like that. So I'm going to come up to the top. I'm going to click and drag out this curve like so, and drag it all the way down to the bottom. Now when you release, you're gonna end up with something like this. Now this curve now may not exactly be how you want it. So if this character is drawing this bow, you're probably gonna want a little more tension through here. So I'm gonna navigate up to the stroke menu up here. I'm gonna open up the curve section here, and I'm gonna turn on lock start and lock end. Now with lock start and lock end on, this is going to lock this point on this curve and lock this point on this curve. But then I can come through and still manipulate the curve like so. So this will allow me to come through and add that tension area to this curve and hold that start and end point. Now you can also change the size of this curve once you have it drawn out on your model. To do this, just hover off your model so you end up with the red circle and then just change your draw size like so. And now when you come back to this curve and simply click, it's going to update the size of that curve in my model here. So you can draw your curve out. If the size is not what you're looking for, you can just change your draw size. Just make sure you have that red circle instead of the blue circle. And then when you come back to the curve and simply click, it's going to update the size like so. Now another thing to note that when you're using these IMM curve brushes, when you drag this out on your mesh here, it's going to snap to the surface of the model. So you can see here, this curve has snapped to the entire surface here. Or there may be times where you don't want this to happen. So let's say I have a second subtool here, and I wanna run a curve from here to here. You can notice it's going to do this a little effect like so. So you can disable this by coming to the picker menu up here and open up this depth area, and there is an option for 1C or continuous Z. So right now this is set to continuous Z. So as you draw your stroke out on your model, ZBrush is going to look at the depth that you're seeing, and it's going to snap to that surface. If I change this to once Z, and now come and draw the stroke out from say here, you're going to notice it's going to use the initial depth that I click, and then anything after that, is not going to be affected. So you can see now I have this point embedded directly in that box rather than trying to wrap along the surface there. Another handy item with the stroke option, especially for generating stuff like bow strings, is to come back to the stroke menu here and use this as line option. So if I turn on this as line option and now come to my model and draw a stroke out like so, it's going to give me this straight line effect. So with this, I can come through and just draw straight lines like so using these strokes. This is really handy for drawing extremely straight lines on your model. So you can come through and draw out lines pretty much anywhere you want, and they're going to be perfectly straight like so. If you still have that lock start and lock end option on, you can now come through and deform the line as well to get a little more tension if needed. So that is one process for generating thin lines like so inside of ZBrush. After you have the curve to your liking, you can simply hit 5 on your keyboard, which will lock that curve in and allow you to draw another one. Or you can come up to the stroke palette up here, 
go to the curve functions option and click delete, which will delete that curve and just leave you the geometry. Then you're free to use any other options inside of ZBrush, like the transpose lines, to position that more into your bow, like so. So I hope that helps. If you have any additional questions on ZBrush related pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!